Welcome to AM Buffalo on this beautiful Wednesday. We are live on location in downtown Buffalo on Main Street. Where are we, Mercedes? Oh, it's a downtown bazaar. None other. And Emily, do you smell it in here? Oh, I do. And it might be a little early for such fragrances, but nope, not in never. our books. Not in our books, personally. Never. We are so <laughs> lucky to be here because it's been about a month since the downtown bazaar opened yeah. and they have welcomed us in to show you around in case you haven't been here yeah. yet or maybe you only tried one or two things here there are so many beautiful cultural experiences to have yeah. in this building and that's yes. why mercedes and i are so grateful yes. to be wrapping up asian american pacific yep. islander month yep. the last day of the month right here at the yes. downtown bazaar i'm very excited and you know what emily i'm excited to learn about the different small businesses yes. that are in here because buffalo i mean the diversity that is here in our city is unmatched. Yes. It is unmatched. So And the group that helped bring yes. all these different cultural talents together, mm -hmm. Weedy, is they're here. They're gonna be talking about the programs they have in place to foster this. Yep. Yep. And it really does just help in Rich in, and rich in is not a word, but make more rich the cultural fabric yeah. that we have here in Buffalo. Yeah. So let's take a walk. We're going to bring in Carol and Welch. Oh, look, Carolyn! Look here. Standing by. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> How are you, ladies? Good, we good. Great. So, Carolyn, let's start out by asking, what is Weedy? I mean, it's beautiful in here. What is Weedy? So Weedy is the Westminster Economic Development Initiative. We are the program that runs the West Side Bazaar, but in addition to that, we're also a CDFI, so we do small business lending for people who aren't able to get a loan from a traditional bank. Mm -hmm. And we do educational programming for kids who are in their first grade through their senior year of high school who are English language learners. Oh my goodness. So let's talk about the West Side, um, West Side Bazaar, but also let's talk about the Downtown Bazaar because yeah. this is almost like a dream come true, being able to bring this to the downtown area. Let's talk about the folks who are now set up shop here and now bringing what they provide to the local community. Yes, yeah, so we are so happy to finally be set up here. We've been here about a month now. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, we do have a Mexican restaurant. We have Burmese street food. We have an Ethiopian restaurant, a Sudanese restaurant, and a Filipino restaurant. And the food is extraordinary. Oh I think, you know, every day it has been absolutely gangbusters in here. So many people coming for lunch, supporting the cause. And, you know, it's just beautiful to see because when you are at the bazaar, you never know who you're going to run into. So the diversity of our customers and our clients are amazing and for me it's always been so heartwarming that I can walk into this space and see people from the community, people hosting business meetings, the firemen from down the street, the construction workers, and everybody's in the same space and they are enjoying each other and learning more about each other and that's our city, that's the diversity of our city. What I love about you guys is that the work that it takes to be a small business owner, you're here for every step of it. Correct. Absolutely. It is so much work to start a small business, especially if you're coming to us from another country or your family has never traditionally been banked. It is very overwhelming, the permitting and the different things you need to have happen. So when someone comes to the bazaar, they have a relationship manager that helps them navigate all of that. And throughout their process for when they're here or when they graduate, we're still with them to help them be successful. So tell us a little bit about Pattaya Street Food. You just kind of like kind of brushed over it, but we're looking at them setting up for the day. Yep. Um, they're a Burmese family, correct? Yep, they're a Burmese family. They've been with us for several years now. Um, they have bubble teas, they have lotus flower cookies, which are absolutely beautiful. They have a couple of different wraps and a couple of different egg rolls that they're also serving. Um, but the food is traditional Burmese street food, and it's you won't be disappointed if you give it a try. What I absolutely love is that it just keeps going. Like, if you haven't yet <laughs> been down to the downtown bazaar, this is definitely a place. As the weather gets nicer, hey, let's yeah. go out, take a walk have lunch here, and then tell your friends all about it because you're supporting local. That's definitely what's happening here, correct? No, absolutely. All of our businesses are local. They're all contributing back to the Western New York economy. In fact, we are looking at expanding. We're, the building project is happening on Niagara Street right now. Yay! And our economic impact study shows that we'll have a $35 million economic wow. impact on Western New York in five years. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just a taro bubble tea with a uh, uh, ribble jelly. And, oh, and wow. can you tell everybody your name? Alice Fisher. Nice to meet you again. She, yes. We actually had her on the show a couple you of months ago. You may remember we had her on for Curry Day. Yes. yes. So you made a delicious dish for us. So yes. it's nice to see you again. You. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. So tell everybody, when they walk into the downtown bazaar, what is this atmosphere like? 
you know, when you walk into the downtown bazaar at lunchtime, it is a bubbling, happy, excited atmosphere. You know, people are enjoying great food. They're telling their friends about it. They're getting kind of the sneak peek of the new businesses that we've had established. And it's just such a fun environment. We can't wait to throw open the doors in the summer and just have people strolling through. Uh. On that note, you're going to want to stick with us yeah. here yeah. on AM Buffalo this morning because not only are we going to be perhaps sampling some of the deliciousness here, but they have a store of cute boutique mm -hmm. with things mm -hmm. you can buy, but we'll also yeah. be explaining more about Weedy yeah. and really all the work that they're doing yeah. to bolster our local yeah. community and just enhance that immigrant story. We're yeah. so excited about it, so stay with us. You're watching AM Buffalo.